I have. And speaking of cultural impact, Monty, we're Valorant already, bro. I sent you the link. We're Valorant already. Oh, when yeah. fucking Cadrill's stream has more views than the entire fucking real stream, what are we even doing at this point in time? What even is this eSport? It isn't an eSport. It's just children's entertainment with people going, blah, 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 blah. like that. Mate, that's what is it's not a sport, mate. It's not a sport anymore. What are we doing? What is this? What are we doing? Can you explain this to me? This I, is mental, I can't. Mate. As, as a former... to Kendall, though, he's killing it. Yeah, as a cast, he he's, the only, it. he's the only one who escaped, mate. He escaped the bane pit. He's fucking living <laughs> large. He's killing it. Now he controls the stock market. Yeah, it's weird. It's almost like when he worked really hard and was using all of his time to build up his own stream when he wasn't at the studio, and he would even go so far as to work so hard that he would like co-stream LCK and LPL in the mornings and then go cast, uh, uh, you know, LEC in the afternoons. The real question is, why other casters? Wh where have you guys been for the last ten years? Where are your streams? Where's your... Oh, you never made any. Maybe that's why you're in this position. Sucks, man. And you never unionize, so you just allow a situation where your voices are going out on other people's personal streams and they're monetizing your job instead of you. So To be fair, there is some side work, though. You can sometimes get work starring in music videos where it's like, worlds, 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 <laughs> e.g. at worlds. We're like, man, that. <laughs> Captain Flowers, you'll never live that L down, man. Not even just because they turned out to be like wrecking, plucking players and shit. I'm a dog shit at worlds. But that, you'll never live that video down. It's so bad. It's, <laughs> your rapping was okay. I'll give you that. Actually, that wasn't bad. But that video was so fucking bad. It was like offensively bad how bad that was, mate. It was mental, wasn't it? I know. We eg and we out there like. <laughs> I can't please. please, please. But, but I mean, like Kedro worked really hard to get into this position, and yeah, it's been it's it. been shown. And That's what I, I like about all the core streamers. LS Kedro and Dom slaved like a motherfucker to get to this point. Man, they earned it. They had, they had to put mental hours in these three. The joke is, I'm not joking. They probably have taken 10 years off their life with the fucking shit they've done, mate. But I'll tell you what, the rest of their lives, they will live in a fucking little villa in the fucking south of France if they want, going back to their main penthouse suite in fucking wherever, London, be wherever you want, Berlin, you pick it. I mean, Ellis took, the, the, the obvious joke is that Ellis may have taken 10 years off his life through all the co-streaming, but he won't look like it because he's able yes. to buy the, the salmon sperm injections for his face to maintain yes. the fountain of youth forever. Um, I even watched that video and was like, my God, what are you doing? Mate? Listen, I've already just got to the level like Mando where I'm putting soap under my bloody arms. You're fucking putting semen in your face. Monty, I don't know where we're going with sponsorships, but I do draw the line at a certain point. You know what I mean? Like, I said, I'll use soap. I'll use it on my balls, maybe even. I'll put shit on the bottom of my feet. But I'll tell you what, mate. Look at, here's the thing. First of all, I don't need to look young. I already look like I found the fountain of youth, mate. I still look fucking 28. Well, you didn't know, you idiots, is I never actually got old. I just got fat, you fucking morons. I was just smoking weed. I have a home <laughs> cinema, and I was just going, yes, I think I will watch a fucking sick movie. Hmm, I am watching Aliens while eating all... I want to have something savory, something sweet, something fucking chocolatey, <laughs> something from the UK, and then I'm going to drink full sugar sodas. <laughs> That's the reason. My head, I'm like simple. My head just went like that, didn't it? But I'm still the goat. So now I lost the weight. What do you want? I'm back. I'm back, bitches. I'm rolling 10 years off this motherfucker. <laughs> Too good. Uh, so, anyway. Um, I agree, yeah. though. The incentive structure doesn't make any sense. What you're saying, basically, Monty, is what we've always known. It was you, it was Papa, it was Cage, it was Defit. There is no incentive to be the best caster in the world. You're right. actually better off being the best GM in the world, the best president of operations, the best <laughs> fucking core streamer, the best anything except fucking caster, it turns out, because Riot still treats these guys like old school Vince McMahon used to treat the wrestlers, where it's like, if he dies, he dies. Bring a new guy out. Like, they didn't give a fuck. They were making all the money. Like, that's the. I agree with you. It's the saddest thing, because the difference is there are other esports games where there are some very famous, iconic figures they came bigger than the game, but they all, in a way they deserved it, mate. They were like Cadrill now, they were carrying the game. Like you yep. know, back in the day, you can think of whatever you like about the business practices of a Tesla and Art Horses. Bro, they brought eyeballs. They were yep. box office. There were people who wouldn't have watched that yes. tournament who did because yep. they were casting. Yep. That is why when you capture those people and the dumbest part, you're right, Monty, is they had it with you, with Papa. They especially had it with Cadrill. He even had the fan engagement away. No one else did. You had yep. that, and it could have been on your broadcast, and instead you let him be so big. You need him more than he needs you. you you fucked up you fucked up riot 
you fuck good for him I mean, i'm happy for him and his yeah. success like obviously and all these people but uh, i mean the fact is is that casting has been like a dog shit profession in league of legends from the very beginning in terms of payment in terms of career opportunities and people found a way out and like if you're still doing this after 10 years there there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow guys it's just the same shitty ass haul for another year you would be better off doing almost anything else if you have any other skills uh as Kadrol has shown but it's like why why was it that Kadrol was uniquely capable of doing all this co-streaming and like building out his own brand you guys literally just wasted a decade not doing that it, it's wild i mean i don't personally like you know, I like watching the main cast, and I find that the most enjoyable way frequently to watch it. But I also of understand course. why people watch co-streams, because you get the main cast and you get something else on top of it. Yes. You get to also feel like you're supporting somebody individually, which just feels a lot better. You you feels more connected than with a, a corporation. And it's true that traditional sports are getting into this. That's why we have the Manning cast now. It's not It's not like traditional sports are being dumb and ignoring this. They understand the power of having these personalities as well. And it's going to be something that comes across more and more. Even on Twitch, the NFL was allowing people like Ninja to like co-stream the Amazon, the game, the Thursday night football games that Amazon owned. So they clearly like see the value here. By the way, a quick sidebar. This is where Monty, I know there's respect and there's legendary status and there's certain people you don't speak out against, but you know what, Monty, I wish I had had, the Kamala Harris style access to the earpiece of Peyton Manning when he was talking recently to Bill Belichick because, bro, I could have given you the clap back of the century, my dude, right? As a joke, because it was what Tom Brady and Belichick have always been triggered about, Manning, brought, Manning was talking and they were talking about Arrowhead Stadium where the Chiefs play and Belichick made that joke where he goes, it's like back in the day when in the Colts, you guys used to pipe the crowd noise into the arena. <laughs> and I would just go, well, Bill, I know you'd be against people cheating from the stands. Look up those first three rings. Look up what I'm talking about. The idea, you open up the idea, someone else is cheating, Bill Belichick, and then nobody claps you back. Bro, you are the, the reason I think you're the goat is because you are the goat coach and you cheat. Of course you fucking win all the time. You're cheating and you're the best. Like, that's pretty OP. Spoiler, there's a reason why I allegedly maybe think Flusher cheated. Because he was also really good and smart and he allegedly cheated. So if he did it all at once, no wonder he was fucking unbeatable. No wonder he couldn't get this kind of clutch. Oh, that's another one. Demonized. Molly. It's all right. We made the money from the sponsors. That'll make up the $200, dollars Molly. It's all good. It all works out at the end. All offsets. It all yep. offsets. That, it sure does. That's just it's in okay. me. That's just in my DNA, you have to understand. <laughs> it's just the price of the word, man. Yeah, it, it it's, it's worth a lot to it you, is. apparently. It is. It is. It is. It's very yeah. precious. <laughs> it is. So I'm like Gollum, mate. I won't give that fucking word up. My precious. <laughs> they try to take it from me. They try to scour the land for it. I'll never give it up. I'll dive into an active volcano to save the wood. You, I won't say it again. Oh, it's a, I said it twice already. Sorry, I did it a minute later. So you know the conversation continues. So YouTube will flag it for you. Don't worry. It's all good. Anyway, to come back, I I do think that is mental. But, but as we said, shout out to Kedrel. Even if you even if there's things about his stream you don't like. He's killed it, and he's also proven what I've always thought the whole time, which is how my broadcast career worked. Entertainment trumps everything, and it's not even close. Literally, analysis is second by a million miles away, yes. mate. Because yep. remember, the worst thing about all the fakes on Reddit is you aren't qualified or capable of knowing if the analysis is good. You just wait until someone gets the status. Like, you know this, Monty. When LS wasn't popular, wasn't a core streamer, he was a moron to everyone. When he was the biggest core streamer, everything he said was right. Now, in the meantime, everyone didn't gain 20 years of fucking esports knowledge. They just, and, and LS didn't suddenly go yeah. from being all wrong to oh, all right. <laughs> exactly. It was just an appeal to authority. He just now has the status where you just assume he probably knows what he's talking about. So the problem is, like, half the analysis isn't even God tier. You don't even get that. Because I actually think people on course streams want entertainment. They want the sack. They want Cadrell jumping around, talking about rats uh, and shit like that. They want that. <laughs> I mean, objectively, Cadrell's analysis was better when he was on the broadcast. I mean, but now his entertainment might be better now. He's biased, doesn't he? Oh, he plays up what teams <laughs> he course. likes. Them. Yeah, he does a good job with it. I, yeah. I mean, especially because you'll notice, guys, like last year with Weibo, he got mega lucky that they got into the finals, but he was just picking them because they were a degenerate chaos team with the shy. And then he just, 
it was just happenstance that they actually managed to make the finals. He's trying to do the same thing this year with D plus because D plus is the That's clown is, is the clown fiesta team. But it's it makes it for entertaining content because he can give bigger reactions because these teams more frequently awesome. do crazy or stupid things, right? Um, but th th that's why. That's why. I mean, he probably genuinely enjoys that gameplay as well because he finds it fun. But you know, it's not coincidental that these Fiesta teams are being selected as as his favorites for these tournaments. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.